let's say not only Qingdao, but Shandong province, uh, we have the investor from Shandong province to invest in Laos, especially in mining sector and agriculture sectors. And other, I think now a newest one is probably related to the new energy sectors. Uh, but I personally would like to encourage more investment on agriculture uh, processing industry. I think this event is very uh, uh, useful and very important. One of the events that can uh, introduce uh, Qingdao to ASEAN member states. And then some information from ASEAN member states can uh, spread uh, for Qingdao peoples to get to know more and to see more chance, more opportunities to increase the economic and trade cooperation between Qingdao and other ASEAN countries. Uh, I think now I already talked a, bit, um, a lot about it investment and trade this area. But uh, if we move to the other sectors like education, I know that a lot of Laos students been studying or doing the, the undergraduate or master degrees in, in, in uh, Shantung uh, province in different universities. But then tourism is one of the uh, potential sectors. Uh, Shantung is famous, I think in China, Shantung, Qingdao is famous in tourism, but Laos also promote the tourism. So I think the, 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 in the future, we can expand this uh, cooperation. Uh, Qingdao, uh, very strong in all uh, economic sectors, yeah, very strong in the uh, industry sectors, and very famous in culture uh, protection. Qingdao, uh, very delicious uh, seafood and other traditional foods. This kind of uh, thing, I think it's, it's if we, we, we work together, then maybe uh, Qingdao can bring this introduced to our countries and then our country can also introduce our traditional things into the Qingdao city.